Well, good evening, and thank you for downloading The Bob and Katie Show. We're quite happy that you've made this decision. Aren't you happy? You sound happy. I want everybody to take a deep breath on three, even you, Katie. One, two, three. And exhale. And inhale again. I'm going to get lightheaded. And exhale. Don't you feel better? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah I'm asking oh, you. Oh, yeah. Don't you feel sure, better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what would make you feel even, even more better? To do something good. To do something helpful to someone. Mm-hmm. Where you're all in luck. Patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show. If you go to patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show and become a patron for as little as one dollar a month, you'll be helping two people help their dreams come true. That's patreon.com slash the Bob and Katie Show. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome, everybody, to the Bob and Katie Show. I'm Katie. And I'm Bob. So I I want to tell you, I'm having an issue with something I'm doing with the listeners, and I need to know if I'm if you think I'm in the wrong. What are you doing to the listeners? Well, I mean, like, <laughs> so we're supposed to have fun with this podcast, right? <laughs> yeah, that's the idea. I guess. We're supposed to have fun, but at the same time, we should intentionally try to grow the listenership. Because, I mean, you know, that's sort Should of the we? goal. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, of course. I, I, more and more people, the better. <clears throat> so, like, I encourage the people to, like, reach out. And, you know, we get, we get emails all yeah. the time and stuff like that. And, you know, I sort of encourage that. Because it's, I don't know, like, if there's something you really like, like an artist or a comedian, musician or anything, and you, you kind of reach out to them and they, they contact you back, it's a good feeling, you know? Like, it's, so I, I, I try to stay in contact with people. Well, anyways, sometimes somebody can mean something good, and then I take it and I kind of criticize it. And I, sometimes I don't know if I, don't, if I take it too far. You probably do. do you I, can, re- I can speak from experience. I live with you. You think you don't do that crap to me? So this is what happened. <gasps> what did I you think do? To like, a- people are always like, Bob's so mean. Is Bob mad at me? Bob's an butthole. What, what, what were you going <laughs> to does the word ass make you uncomfortable? You just don't want to say it? Because, I, I, I mean, let's be real. When these mics aren't on, you cuss sometimes. I'm not saying I don't ever just, say Just like words, around me, though. But it's, yeah, it's, it's not something I feel comfortable just putting out there. Okay. All right. And besides, I know that there's children that listen to this. That's crazy. What? That there's kids that'll listen to this. It's not necessarily our target That's audience. That's not crazy. You know? So let me tell you what happened. Two episodes ago, we talked about the kid's birthday party, mm-hmm. and that that night, I found out one of my chairs were broken, like the tent chair. The tent chair? You know, like the, the chair that we fold out, and it's got like the canopy, and you can sit in it. Remember it got ripped? That's the camp- why- camping chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. It's like, what's a tent chair? So. <laughs> Jackson wants to put in his two cents. Yeah, there's a baby downstairs, so that's what that was. <laughs> it's not our baby. <laughs> Somebody, it's somebody else's baby. We don't even know how it got in the house. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's our nephew, Jackson. Well, two things happened that came out of that story. One, I talked to my mom because she listened to the podcast and then afterwards called me. And she goes, yeah, I, I know what chair you were talking about in your show. And I was like, <gasps> did your mom break the chair? I'm not sure what I think. My mom called me and she's never had a reason like she, like she doesn't lie to me about anything. I mean, like we're pretty similar when it that comes to that. That you like, know of. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't think your mom walks around lying to you. <laughs> no, not at all. Not at all. But this is what she said. She goes, yeah, that chair, it was broken and I found it. So I put it in the bushes. <laughs> and I'm like, the bushes? Like, why the bushes? And she said, so nobody would sit on it. And, I, and like, first of all, I'm like, well, we have three bushes. 
<laughs> but we have more bushes than that. Well, I mean, but it's not like it's not like when 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 you say, "Oh, I threw it in the bushes." Most people are going to think, <laughs> you know, like a big area, like a bushed area that you could <laughs> a bushed area that yeah. you could put the chair. <laughs> into no we have baby shrubs you know and and it would disappear <laughs> you know like like that that meme that's on facebook all the time with homer simpson and like backs into the bushes <laughs> the bush area yeah but it, but the problem is it's not like that like you said it's baby bushes so like, like the chair is like taller two, two, than the bushes feet tall. yeah and then i'm like <laughs> wait it kind of sounds like you tried to hide the chair in the bushes Mm. And then I'm like, and the blood thickens. <laughs> uh, so, so I'm not. I mean, like, I'm not saying my mom did it. I just thought it was weird <laughs> that she put no, the chair in the bushes. Sounds like the actions yeah. of a guilty person. Is that what I mean, you're like, trying to well, I mean, say? <laughs> the type of chair it is. If you didn't want anybody selling it, you just fold it up and stick it in a corner. Like you don't have to take it out the garage. <laughs> And throw it into the bushes. That's that's my point. Like, it makes it sound like your mom went out there and like just like picks it up over her shoulders and just like chunks it. You stupid broken chair! Like throws it at the bushes. And I'm sure that's probably not how it happened. She probably no, gently no. placed it over in the bushed area. Right. <laughs> So now if somebody's like, oh, look at this comfortable chair in the bushes, and they sit in it, and like they fall in, through it. In the bush. Yeah, in the bushes. They're just sitting inside the bushes in the tent chair. So. <laughs> Anyways, the second thing that happened was we had a listener that sent us a picture, and it was it basically said, I had somebody from my family come over, and a mysterious chair was broken. And, you know, just sent me a picture of the chair. Uh-huh. As, and I, I'm sure... It was just meant like, hey, look, it happened to me too. Uh-huh. But the problem you're, you're is- You're not alone. The problem is, this is the picture, okay? And you see the chair, obviously. It's this wooden chair right here. It's upside down. You see the leg in the bottom? Oh, yeah, So like yeah, the leg yeah, yeah. is completely off. It's upside down. and Okay. But to me, that is the least interesting thing in this picture. So I replied back and I was like, is this your garage? And he goes, yeah. And I go, that's a helium tank right there, right? So now this is this is this is going to lead back to my question: Is it wrong that a listener was like, "Oh, look, it happened to me too"? And the first thing I think is, "What the hell is inside your garage?" (laughs) No, no, no. Because I love so many people don't pay attention when they take a picture, and they don't pay attention to the background. And so I love noticing things that other people probably didn't notice when they took the picture Mm -hmm. or, you know, just weren't, not that they didn't notice, but just weren't thinking about. Yeah. So let's That's a, that's a Hobby Lobby bag. Yep. I can recognize that from the B and the half of the Y. That's a Hobby Lobby bag. So if you zoom in a little bit, there's a, there's like a wicker basket looking thing. There's Halloween placemats. Yep, Halloween placemats. That that right a there. A helium tank. That's um some, that's hay. That's a like a little bale of hay. So it's a bag of hay. Okay. Yeah, for like decorations. And like there's this creepy little scarecrow doll. It's not creepy, that's cute. Yeah, see that's that's where people get confused. They're like, Oh, this is cute. And I'm like, No, that is the same thing. This is it's the same a kind of doll. Scarecrow girl. Look, and that She's is the same pigtails. kind of doll that you would see laying in the hallway at the beginning of some horror movie. No, no, she's a scarecrow. She goes outside. Is that a dog bowl uh, and where? a matchbox car? Oh, up here on the table saw. Yes, with there's a there's toys on top of the table saw, and I think these are this green bag right here. That stuff that you put in your grill, like a gas grill, to make wood it chips. taste different. Yeah, and I wasn't able to figure out what that was. That brown. It looks like a plastic reindeer head. It does, or something. Yeah, I'm really not sure. It's hard to tell. You can't Let's see. see. Um, some, so yeah, there was uh, the some, helium tank. Oh, that's some that's some gallons of water. Yep. This right here, I think, is some kind of alcohol dispenser. What? Like a, or maybe it's a coffee pot. Maybe it's a weirdly shaped coffee pot. Right here with the spout. There's, you see it? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what that is. See, but that's not that's not coffee. That holds <laughs> way too big. I think this is some kind of like keg device. Mm, I don't know. That's. I think is that a broom? Yep. Here's a broom right here. I mean, a broom is not a weird thing. To no. find in a in a uh, garage, but I'm just curious as why it's neon green. Why not? Like it's crazy green. 
Why not? What's, um, it, what's in the tote? I tried to zoom in on it. Something pink. Looks it's, like toys, children's yeah. toys. So this person has kids. And they like Halloween. Yeah, they do like Halloween. Time. I thought the toys on the top like of to the... And they like to party um, because that's a helium tank for sure. Yeah. Keeping keeping toys on top of a table saw. <laughs> I feel like... <laughs> I feel like that's it's a like problem. No, it's like dog toy. It's like dog stuff. No, what are you talking no. about? That is a car. Oh, the Matchbox car. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about I was thinking about the dog bowl full of stuff. So, anyways, I guess that was my question. Like, am I a jerk because this person tried to, like, go, oh, look what I did. And then the first thing I'm no. like, is, what the hell is your garage? You didn't ask for a picture of their garage. You're right. Now, if you're like, can I please right. have a picture of your broken chair and your garage so I can analyze it, please? That definitely would have made you a jerk. Is that is that when it's too far? I think that just makes you observant. Mm-hmm. So I want to talk about Coles. Can we do that? Oh my! God. Can we talk about Coles? <sighs> Am I allowed to say Coles? I don't know. The, They're uh, probably going to sue us. The after store this. Coles. Why don't you start this story off? Let's tell a happy story first before we get into that because okay. there's something. That I not intentionally. I, I haven't intentionally kept this from you. Mm-hmm. I just don't think I've mentioned it and I, you haven't witnessed it yes but there has been something going on for at least a week at least a solid week maybe more how did you find time to find a boyfriend what? and cheat on me oh on my god side? shut up i definitely don't have time for that um so reagan mm-hmm. our daughter i know her has not called reese her little brother by his name in like a week what it what she does not refer to him as Reese anymore. Oh, no. Is she calling him Dog? No. That was Riley that she was calling Dog. Reese, no. She calls this child Lisa. Lisa. Like the female name Lisa? Lisa. She has been walking around. She don't do it in front of you. You ha- I mean, surely you would have remembered that. She doesn't ever do it when you're home. I don't know why. I guess probably because you, I mean, by the time you get home, usually it's like we're, it's, it's close to bedtime, dinner yeah. time, bedtime. Go, 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 go. Yeah. But yeah, like during the day, she'll be like, come here, Lisa. Lisa, come here. Yeah. She calls that boy Lisa. Does he like acknowledge it? Yes, he does. And in fact, you know, because Carrie, my sister, has been here with us. And the other day, she's sitting on the couch. I'm sitting in the recliner. And Reese's standing somewhere nearby. And Reagan calls him from the other room, Lisa, come here. And he gets up and he walks Man, to see, her. And you gotta, I, you gotta, you gotta shut that down. Carrie and I looked at each other, and Carrie's like, "That boy's gonna have a complex." You, <laughs> because yes, he is now responding <laughs> to the name Lisa. It doesn't even sound anything <laughs> similar to his name. His name is Reese, and she's calling him Lisa. I mean, Reese kind of sounds like Lise. You think so? And then, mm-hmm. uh, like she could just be saying, it's the same person. This is the same human that referred to hair as hay for a long, long time. Well, and she called her other brother dog. Yeah. How long? That went on for like a month. Long time. And he would constantly act like a dog. Yeah. Every day. Like, it got to the point where we're like, let's not refer to your brother as dog anymore. Yeah, we got to Like, we had to have an intervention. She's three years old. They're three years old. And we had to sit them down and have an intervention. You cannot treat your brother like a dog and call him dog. Riley, you cannot act like a dog all the time. You got to stop. It's gone too far. I'm just saying, what happens to like two or three years from now for some weird reason? I don't know. Something... Happens at school. I, I don't know. Somebody's like, I think social services it should go check on these people. And like, they come over, right? And you know, and, and Reese comes out and he's like, Hi, I'm Lisa. And then like, <laughs> and Riley comes. Our other son is like on death, the floor drinking out of a dog floors. bowl or something, <laughs> howling. <laughs> like a, yeah. Oh my god. So this past week, since Carrie's been here, I've tried to do most of my runs outside. Okay. And so I'll take Reagan and Riley usually in the jogging stroller. And the other day. I'm going for a jog around the neighborhood, and I have to keep getting on to Riley because he's howling. As you're running? At the neighbors. <laughs> Riley, whenever he sees anyone outside or a car pass or anything like that here in our neighborhood, he sees that, you know, we'll wave and say hello. And so he does it now. He's Everybody he sees in our neighborhood, he, he believes he's, he's supposed to say hello. 
It's very, you know, it's a very nice thing. Yeah. But the other day, I guess he was pretending to be a dog. And so instead of saying hello, he was howling. And he howls like a wolf. And it's loud. And he keep he kept on howling at all the neighbors. And I was like, Riley, can we please not howl at the neighbors? You know, and come to think of it, I think that may be the same day that I told him not to put ham in the Batmobile. I just, I come across these things on a daily basis. That I think maybe I say, you should explain that one a little bit better. He had ham. He was trying to put it in the Batmobile. We have a toy. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. Like, people are like, wait, they have a Batmobile? <laughs> <laughs> no. Like, yes, it's parked in our garage right now. <laughs> we do have some patrons now, but not that many. <laughs> No, like, we have we're not like all, we're not buying Batmobiles and stuff. It's like one of those ride-on toys that babies like. You know, you sit on it. It yeah. doesn't even have pedals. You just push it with your feet, and it's Batman, and it has buttons, and it's like you know. Where do you I got him? you, Joker? And, uh, out of his sandwich at lunchtime, I think, oh, okay. or they have some lunchables. It might have been in a lunchable. Anyway, he had a piece of ham, and he's trying to s- tuck it into. We call that little ride-on toy the Batmobile. Mm-hmm. I just, I don't know, that's what we've always called it. That's what the kids call it. And so I'm like, please don't put ham in the Batmobile. It's not okay. It's one of those things for sure. Don't howl at the neighbors. And that's just what he would do. Yeah. It's all in a day's work, the things I say. You know, our neighbors are probably like, this is. They probably think we are the strangest people. And the neighbors have started to find out now that we have a podcast. Oh, God. And we went a good year, I think, without. We try to stay anonymous. <laughs> um, yeah, no, 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 it was it was kind of my fault. It was we're like a they they started a um like a group on Facebook uh-huh. for our. You told me about. I honestly, I have not been on Facebook in like close to two weeks. Haven't even opened it. Yeah, you might have a request for somebody to like try to add you or something, but it's um it's like a group for our neighborhood. Uh huh. No, and I we were talking about. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we were talking. I put a post up that was, you know, I was like, oh, I do this as a job. You know, what a- What does everybody else do? There's like, there's some crazy jobs of mm. people that live in our neighborhood. We have so many law enforcement. Oh, yeah. There's, there, so there, I found out now that there's cops, there's hairstylists, there's people that work on water, people that work on what electricity. You, what do you mean water? People like they, that work on water. Like, like, like service. on a boat? No, like, um, you know, like how all the water went out during the hurricane. Oh, like they work for the water yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, like people okay. that, that, you know, service the water you company. You work on water, and I'm um, like, that could be anything. Electricity. They could be Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're a photographer. We take, you know, I tell jokes. Um, there's a lot of Is that what people. you said? Did you really go in the neighborhood? But I tell jokes. What do you do? Yeah, that was exactly it. I was like, I tell jokes. Um, that is what I said. So... What else was there? There was. There was. Is a, that really what you said? Oh, there's somebody that owns like. Wait, a, wait, wait, wait. Is that really what you said? Yeah, I said. I, said I tell jokes. Don't look at me like that. I oh, do. I tell God. jokes. People should know. I'm funny. <sighs> People gotta know about that. It's one of them things you should know about. I'm just. I'm like, just gonna get somebody, your shirt made. It's just gonna say I'm funny because you constantly need to tell people. I didn't say I was. I mean, I'm saying it now, but not. And I just said that I, told I tell jokes. jokes. I mean, because jokes are um, not submissive. What's the word I'm looking for? Subjective? Subjective. Jokes are subjective. So, I mean, I'm not going to come out and just tell you, oh, you definitely got to listen to me. I'm hilarious. Did you say that you also have another job? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I said I have a day job. Okay. I said I did. <laughs> I was like, they're going to no. be like, how no, do they I even live here? I wasn't like. How do they pay their bills? I just tell jokes for a living. That's how I bought the house in the neighborhood you live in. What he do you do? Work all day? Ha, 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 you common people. <laughs> he tells jokes and she takes pictures. How do they have any money? How do they not live under a bridge? We also pedal heroin. That's how we pay for most of the stuff. <laughs> I use a little bit, so I keep my slim figure. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> um, who are we even talking about? Drug you can, mules. Yeah, you were. Uh, you, you took me. <laughs> we're gonna get investigated now. This. <laughs> I feel like the, the the one child is howling at me. <laughs> Somebody, I'm telling you, like Somebody really needs to go check on them. They've all the neighborhoods probably heard me yell at our kids. They probably think I'm so mean. Stop putting the ham in the Batmobile! So the point of that was, you know, during the hurricane, this, our neighborhood got cut off. Like it was flooded around all sides of it. I started thinking about it. I was like, the people that live in this neighborhood, I'm pretty sure we, we could all get form, together and like self-sustain. Community. Yeah. Of, 
helping and sharing would just be like one big like cult. There's somebody down here that owns like a clothing company. So like I'm We could just build a wall. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like a, fe- a fence, like uh, no, like zombies. Like and we'll zo- have Holden Beach pay for it. Oh my god, no! Oh my god, stop! <laughs> oh, that's great. No, we're not going to build a wall. We're not talking about building walls. No, <laughs> no building wall talk on this podcast. This is a comedy. <laughs> so all the other people in our neighborhood that have something like so awesome to contribute to our little community here, and we're like, we tell jokes and take pictures. <laughs> You sound like hippies. <laughs> yeah. Be like, hey man, I'll trade you some of that water for some jokes. <laughs> <laughs> you got water over there? I can make you laugh. <laughs> um, something did happen, and stop me if I've told you this already. I, I mean, I don't think I have. Where I work, uh, the general manager. I met his wife maybe like once or twice, um, a couple of times. I, enough that I, like I know who she is. I know what she looks like. Uh-huh. Well, we live in roughly the same area. Well, I start to go to work one day, right? And I'm at a stoplight, and I feel you never feel like somebody's looking at you, you know? Yeah. And I turn to the right and look, and it's her, and she's like in her car, and she's waving at me. So you know, I wave back, and I'm like, oh hey, and then the light turns green, and that's it. You know, I didn't think nothing else about it. Uh huh. So about 15 minutes later, you know, I'm driving down 17. I guess we were both heading into South Carolina. Um, but I mean, I, I, I was driving faster than her. So I mean, I haven't seen her in quite some time. Well, I'm driving and this freaking truck, like a big truck cuts me off. And I almost had to like slam on brakes, like hard not to hit this person in the rear end. They like shifted lanes as I was coming up. I'm hot. I'm honking the horn. I'm screaming. Like flipping this truck off. Like I am furious. Did she see you? And I turned to the right and there she is looking at me again. <gasps> oh my like, God. Oh, no. So as soon as I got to work, I immediately went to him. I was like, Hey, so I saw your wife on 17 and she's probably going to tell you some things about me. And I just want to give you a heads up. This was going on. <laughs> I'd rather you hear it from me first. Because I mean, <laughs> I, I doubt that she saw the truck cut me off, you know? So all she knows is like, I'm just driving. You're just a crazy and I'm just like person. Screaming and well in my hands. So I gave him some heads up. I need to follow up with him to see if like, that was like right before the hurricane. So I'm sure that was like the last thing on her mind. But, um, it was, uh, you know, it's been a long time since I got caught going nuts on the road. Cause I've, I've kind of chilled it out recently. There's been, it's, it's been a lot more Bob Zen time. Oh, some yeah. Zen Bob time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, I've, I've, I feel like I've tried to do better. Like, has it seemed that way around the house? Yeah. 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 So it's, it's working. So back to Coles, though. Oh, let's yeah. talk about how Zen you were in Coles <laughs> yesterday. Can't, let's talk about that. Let's talk about Zen, Bob. Wait, let's put Coles off one more time. I just <laughs> remembered something that I have to tell you about. I was at work. This is the day. I can't believe I didn't tell this on the last podcast. I think this is like two days before. The hurricane. Okay. I'm in a hardware store. It's busy because people are trying to board up their houses and, you know, let's get ready for this hurricane. Well, I go to, I go to lunch and I, I leave the store and then I come back and I'm walking through the parking lot and there's this gray car that I don't think these people were at the store that I was working at. They were just like really far back, but they were in the parking lot and I parked far away. So I look at this car and this car is packed with stuff. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, like they're moving? Like these people are on vacation? getting out. Oh, like probably like they were evacuating. Yes, yeah. There's there's bicycles tied to the back of like it's – like, it's like a four-door like Honda. Uh-huh. There's bicycles tied with rope. Not like a bicycle rack. Like rope tied to it. There's stuff sticking out the back windows. Okay? There's crap tied to the top of the car. Like these people – They were getting out and taking everything they could. But – As I walked past, I couldn't help but to notice on top of the car, tied down to the top of the car, it was a, uh, it was a cat carrying. (gasps) Oh no. So I didn't didn't think anything of it, you know? You didn't look Um, to see if there was a cat in it? Well, I would, when I say that, understand that I'm walking towards it. So I didn't, I didn't think there was a cat in it. Like who in their right mind would tie? Like put a cat on top of the car. So like, <laughs> but like I, I laughed a little bit because 
like I guess like a child had like painted the name of the cat on the side and the cat's name was Grace. And uh, you know, I, I was looking at the car not because of the cat carrier, but because of just how much stuff was packed in this car, stuff hanging out the windows on top. Like these people <laughs> were freaking hitting the road <laughs> and were getting out. But as I walked past the front of the car, I look. And in this cat cage is two eyes looking at me. And I was like, Grace was in there. Grace was in that cage. So this people are fixing to hit 17 with a cat. Oh my God. Inside the carrier. So now I'm like, what do I do? And there's nobody in the car. So I'm assuming they walked into, I think there's like two restaurants right there. They could have walked into there's a, a, a multiple places they could have gone. So then I go inside and I, I, I went to um talk to one of the guys there. And I was like, you know, do we do something? Do we say something or and I go back out there and the car's gone. So oh, they tied Lord. this cat to the top of a car. So was the opening of the cat, cat was facing the front of the car. So this cat was going to get full force wind <laughs> inside this cage. That's what I'm thinking. Like the wind alone going down, like not just any street, but you're talking open highway. Yeah. Wow. They're probably going to be going at least like 60 miles an hour and the front. <laughs> The open end yeah. of the carrier is facing forward. That poor cat. That poor, poor cat. Oh, my gosh. You'll see even more funny. That's horrifying. Let me talk about something else that just crossed my poor mind. Poor Grace. We've had a couple stories now where just for effect, I've made sound effects. The cat, the wind. I think I yelled some stuff earlier. Your sister's downstairs. Mm-hmm. And I don't know that she can necessarily hear us talking. But just like random like animal noises <laughs> and stuff, and we ain't got no animals up here. She's probably like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I need to leave. Bob's up there going, Rear! <laughs> So Coles, go ahead. Let's let, I wanna hear your like tell your version. So we loaded up the car, we're gonna go have a family day. Your 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 idea of family day versus my idea of family day is a little off, I think. I don't think we're on the same page when it comes to family day. Because, like, when you're like, hey, let's have a family day, I'm like, okay. Do we, like, I mean, I don't want to go to the beach. That, that's a lot of outside. Like, beaches, there's a lot of sunlight out there. and But, I mean, like, you know, we go to, like, a park where I'm sure they have, like, shaded areas that I could sit while the kids play. Or, you know, go to the, I don't know, go to to, like, the museum or... Or something like that. But what we were going to do was... So your excuse for... I'm sorry. Your reasoning, your logic for your behavior... My behavior? Was that you had too much sun no, inside I'm, of a building. I didn't even take you in out, in the outside. We were inside of a building. My point is, your family day was, we're going to go shopping. Well, all I know is we hadn't really seen you much this week. You've been at work a lot. Yeah. Um, things have been crazy. And just me, you, and the kids, we were going to go and do some stuff. The kids all needed shoes because it's October now. And even though it's still 90 degrees outside, I mean, winter is coming. Okay. <laughs> what do you think this <laughs> winter is, is coming. This is, this is a comedy podcast. But winter is coming. It is coming. And the only shoes that our kids have that they can fit in right now because their feet have grown like crazy Mm -hmm. is their Crocs. I love their Crocs though. Well, I do too for the summer and our kids live in Crocs all summer long because I don't ever have to put shoes on them because they can put Crocs on. Yeah, put your Crocs on and they're great. You can wear them anywhere. They can wear them out and then they can wear, if we go into the beach or going somewhere, I don't have to worry about them getting wet or dirty. I mean, they're, They're, they're awesome. But, you know, it is October and we, I was like, oh my God, it's October. We have to get them some other shoes because that's all I need is we wake up one morning and all of a sudden it's cold outside and they don't have nothing to wear but Crocs. So we went, we had to go shoe shopping and the kids had to go with us because their feet have grown like crazy and I needed to be sure what sizes they wear. Because usually, you know, when they were smaller, I I just knew, oh, they outgrew this size. They're in the next size, but they've grown so fast here lately. So my thought was we can go knock this out and get the shoe shopping done. Yeah. And then we can take the kids and go do something fun. We'll be spending time together. I get it. But my idea of family day and everybody else's idea is not the same. So what, what, in in your eyes, what happened at Kohl's? We went to Kohl's first um, because we're getting Converse for the kids. They're like my favorite kids' shoes because they go with everything. So... 
We go in. Just be honest. Just I want you to be automatically 100% honest. It's a Saturday. Yep. It's busy. The the door, you know, there's like two entrances. And the door that we went in, there were no carts. Mm-hmm. We needed one of those cool carts that they have with the little baby seat on the front. So like it's like a stroller and cart in one. Mm-hmm. But there was no carts. So it's packed, it's busy. We try to walk to the other door to see if they have carts over there. And you know, we have three kids in tow. Well, we get over there. There's no carts that have the seat on them. So then we go head back towards the other side. You say, well, take Reagan and Riley. Y'all go ahead and go to the shoe department and start looking for shoes. I'll take Reese. We'll find a cart. Mm-hmm. Okay, fine enough. We went over there, find the, the kids converse. I start trying shoes on them. And it was okay. And then you come over there. And then by then I had found Riley's size. We were good to go. And so he was done, and then he was excited, and then he just starts running. Like, running around, running crazy, and running away. Just running. Yep. Four-year-old. So He's a four-year-old. You have Reese in the cart. I'm trying to trash shoes on Reagan, and Riley's running away. Um, and that horrifies me. I'm the type of person, I do not let my kids out of my sight in a public place. Nobody is not going to be snatching my kids. Nope. Like, if anybody and, takes our kids, there will be a Katie attached to it when, when it leaves the building. So, I'm trying to find Reagan's size and the size that I think she needs, they don't have. And so, then I'm trying to find the next size and, you know, just figure out what size she needs. And Riley's just running, running, running. You're getting mad. You're like, let's just go. But, you know, we can't leave. And then I've, I get Reagan to, I don't know, it was just a bunch of craziness. I finally find Reagan some shoes. Then it's time for the little one. And I'm really unsure about his shoe size. And then we wanted to get different shoes for him with Velcros or slip-on or something like that. <sighs> but there was none on display. And you're asking me about it. And I guess it was a miscommunication. And you grab shoes and you run off and leave me with all three kids to go find an associate to ask them where to find these shoes. You have a shoe in your hand. You're like, where do I find this shoe? But the thing is, it's right underneath where you picked that shoe up. Mm-hmm. And I, I was like, what are you doing? Anyway, it was just craziness. Just craziness, just chaos, just kids screaming, howling, just craziness. Is that, is that it? That's, no. Okay. So then we go, we get done, and I need to look for a bra to wear under a bridesmaid's dress mm-hmm. for wedding in a couple weeks. So I go to the bra section. I take Reagan with me, and you take the boys and just walk around. Well, Reagan starts out, Mommy, I want to go with you. Mommy, I want to go with you. Mommy, I want to go with you. I want to stay with you, Mommy. I want to go with you. And I was like, you're with me, Reagan. You're holding my hand. You're walking with me. You're with me. Mm-hmm. And then it was like a light switch. I want daddy. And then she starts yelling. I want my daddy. I don't want you. I want my daddy. And there's just people everywhere. And I was like, Reagan. And I'm trying to like look. And she's like, I want my daddy. I don't want you. I was like, I'm done. That's a rough spot when you're in public and like your kid just starts like freaking out. I was like, let's go. We're going to go find your dad. But I want my daddy. I said, oh, we're finding your daddy. Trust me. So then we go to check out. And we get in line and the kids are just bouncing off the walls. So you're like, I'll take Reagan and Riley to the car and go ahead and get them buckled in while you pay. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, fine. That's fine. That's fine. So I get up there to pay. And I had like several coupons that I thought I was going to be able to use. Well, of course. it's like, Oh, it doesn't include these. So I ended up paying a little more than I had intended on, but I was like, whatever. I'm so frazzled. I just I just pay for it. A little more. A little more, Katie. It was like thirty dollars more. <laughs> yeah, it was like thirty dollars. That's a lot of money. So anyway, I just pay for it. And then like you're calling my phone and I'm trying to get Reese out of the cart. And so in the while I'm paying, it starts to absolutely pour down rain. And that's why I was trying to call you. I was trying to be like, you gotta hurry up and get out of there, you're gonna get soaked. So as I'm getting the baby out of the car, I notice it's pouring down raining. Mm-hmm. We're parked in like the middle of the parking lot. And then not only do I have the baby, I have my purse. I have a huge bag that has three shoe boxes in it and the diaper bag. So I'm like just loaded down with bags and carrying Reese. And thank God, right before I walked out, it kind of slacked up a little bit. So yeah. it was just kind of sprinkling rain. So the time I get in the by the time I get in the car. And sit down. I'm just like, <sighs> but then I need to tell you how much I just paid for all of these shoes because yeah. I couldn't use my coupon. <sighs> and you were irritated. So I was just like, oh my God. Now let's talk about <clears throat> my version of what happened in Coles. 
we were almost to the store, and you said, oh, we forgot Reese's stroller. Little umbrella stroller, like $20 stroller mm-hmm. from Walmart. Just a real easy thing. Put a baby <clears> and push around <throat> yeah. the store. And then you go, oh, it's it's fine, though. This place Coles we're going to, they've got these cool stroller or a cool like buggy with the little stroller thing on the front. It'll be fine. So I'm carrying this baby. He's not a super small baby anymore. It's like 35 pounds. No, he is 24 pounds. <laughs> Whatever. So I'm carrying him, and we get inside, and like you said, there's no there's no carts. And I'm like, ugh. Then, then you know, we we hike across the other inches of the store, no carts. Is that bothering you? I'm going to turn this off. It keeps, like, flashing or something. There you go. I can turn it off. And then, and then that's when I look at you, and I'm like, yeah, why don't you just take the kids, go to the shoe department, and I will go find a cart. We'll meet you over there, and we'll get this thing going, right? Well, I find another door. I don't know what that door was to. No carts. I'm walking over the place, no carts. There's no freaking carts anywhere. So as I'm I'm circling, I find like the, like a toy department. Mm-hmm. And in between these two racks, there's this cart there. I had a couple things in it. But <gasps> Did wanna, you take it? Did you take somebody's cart? There was, there was nobody standing with it. And like I waited for like a minute or two. And then I went and put put Reese in the seat and just walked off real fast. <laughs> And then I grabbed the stuff and took it off and put it on a shelf somewhere. That's where I got that cart from. Oh, my gosh. You stole somebody's – they're probably, like, at the restroom or something with their kid. And <laughs> they come back and they're like, dang it. So uh, – and then I, I passed this, like, electronic department and there were headphones. And you know my, my appreciation addicted. to headphones. You're addicted. You're like, ooh, headphones. So I walk over and I was actually looking for headphones for you. Because you have these these headphones that you're using right now, they just they're cheap headphones and they don't sound great. And I just mm-hmm. you know I've I just bought me some new headphones and they sound amazing. And then I was like, man, you know I really need to get her some because I had to use yours for the last two weeks because yeah. we think we left mine in Baltimore somewhere. So I was like, oh, let me look at these headphones. And there's this like this like rack and the, and there there's some nice headphones, but that thing is jingling. I'm sorry. Okay, I'll stop touching it. <laughs> but. Kohl's doesn't – they have like this computer animated price changing thing. Well, like digital yeah, price Yeah, like stickers. they don't have price stickers. They have like little monitors. Well, on this whole rack of headphones, there's like this little tiny LCD monitor at the top that has just like a list of all the different headphones and how much they cost. But it's just words and numbers and then like there's 50 pair of headphones. So I'm like, which ones are twenty four ninety nine? Did you look on the bottom to see if there's a – a price sticker? Now, some of the stuff in the store had like tags on them or like little paper prices or something, but none of this did. They were just the plastic shells, headphones. There was no prices. And I, I you know me, I got aggravated because I'm like, I want to buy some headphones, but some of the headphones cost $300 and some of them cost $10. <laughs> I need to know which is which. Mm-hmm. So then I got aggravated and I, I, I left. So that was, that was. Those are the first two things that happened inside of Coles that got me like on the track of I don't want to be here anymore. The second thing or the third thing was when I was trying to get to you, I couldn't find the shoe department. And then I got aggravated. I even called you at one point. But I'm walking through the aisles with this cart. And it's not it's not big by any means. It's a normal sized cart. Well, Coles has put in their walkway, they put kiosk things everywhere with just stuff that you can buy, you know? But they're so big that there's hardly no space to walk with this cart. Mm -hmm. And there's tons of people inside of Coles. And every single one of us is trying to maneuver around these things in the middle of the walkway and not bump into each other. There's a lot of them, too. Yeah. And then on top of that, all the regular aisles, they all have end caps. So people are shopping the end caps. And when you stop in an area that's only two feet wide, you're blocking the aisle. Yeah. So there was so much of this like weaving in and out. Because, and and not, I didn't see one person, one person shopping or buying anything off of this stuff that was blocking the middle of the aisles. I feel like the company can't be making the amount of money off of it to justify inconveniencing the customer. That's the way that I look at things. And I was mm-hmm. getting really aggravated. But then, yeah, I get to you. You're trying the shoes on. The kid's running away. And it's just all building up, right? And then it's like, hey, we have to go to the bathroom after we pick the shoes out. So we go – back to where the restrooms are and in the same area where the restrooms are is like a customer service desk and you go into the bathroom and me and Riley and a Reese is just standing there and you're in the bathroom with Reagan and there's nobody in line at the customer service place and I go excuse me would it be possible for me to pay for these shoes here 
And she goes, well, uh, and that was the straw that laid gently upon my back. <laughs> and broke it? That made me explode. <laughs> because I didn't ask you a philosophical question. I asked you a yes or no question. Can I pay for these items? And uh, is not an answer. So before she even finished it, I was like, never mind. Cause she was, she got the full blunt of everything that had just happened to me. I was like, never mind. Don't worry about it. And that's how I said it. It was kind of rude, but it, it was a simple question. Can I pay for this stuff here or not? And then she goes, well, is it just two items? I was like, is it dependent on how many items I have that your register opens? I was like, no, don't worry about it. It's fine. But I mean, I wanted to pay for the stuff there because on the way to the bathrooms, we saw the lines out at the registers and they were yeah, ungodly it was, long. Yeah. It was really crowded. And my thought was, you know, I would love to just pay for it here instead of standing out in line over there with twin four-year-olds and a baby and I'm upset and you're aggravated and this would have just been great. So then you come out of the bathroom and I and you have no idea that I've exploded no, at this no, point. No, no, you're just angry. And then we start to walk off and I go like very loudly. I was like... I was going to try to pay for the shoes here, but apparently this register is dependent on how many items you have. And you're like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, by that point, there's like people all around. It's like, why are you yelling? <laughs> oh. People have no idea what I go through trying to take you and the kids shopping. Yeah, so then we go. It's so miserable. Then we go to it's, the register. There's nothing fun. And like you said, I took the twins and I went out to the truck and I put them in there. And I'm just in there and I'm thinking about this lady. And I'm just getting more pissed by the second because that's not customer service, you know? Like if I would have been behind that counter, I'm at work. I see, you know, a parents with three kids. There's nobody in my line. There's an opportunity for me to go, hey, I'll bring you up right here. That way you guys just get out of here. Like that's good customer service. And what that lady offered me after I done went through this aggravating well, Is it store, really customer service? Like anytime you see – like if you're just a person and you can help somebody else and you see them struggling – Regardless well, of I mean, the it's scenario. Not, it's not that we were struggling. But there's children everywhere yeah. and we're trying to control them. And yeah. you just, we just need to pay for these so we can get out of the store. And yeah. she's standing there with a the register and nothing to do. And she's seasoned. And what I mean by that is she's been on this earth for a long time. She should know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like you should know. Like yesterday, we went, to, we went into Target and I had to take Reagan to go pee. And the bathroom was full. All the stalls were full. So we come in and we have to stand there and wait. And the lady that walked in just ahead of us, she got the last open stall, but she stopped and she turned around. She was like, oh, do you need to let her pee? She goes, I have little ones. She's like, she can go ahead. And I was like, awesome. Yeah. It was was just like a a nice thing to do. Like you see, oh, there's a child here, you know, let her go. But, and and vice versa, I was like, I was like, she's okay. You can go ahead. Um, yeah, we were good. So, so fast forward, like stuff like that. Like that's, I don't know. It's just what you do, and it, and, and not always just with children. Like I said, anytime that you as a person can help another person, and you see them Especially struggling, Especially if it doesn't put you out anything. Yeah, yeah. If it doesn't hurt you, yeah. like no skin off your nose, like, yeah, like be a you decent human so being. Regardless of you ringing us up or not, yeah, you're standing there. Yeah, she's getting paid. She's on the clock. Yeah. She's got a cash, a fully functioning cash register right yeah. there. We have literally three items. It was three shoe boxes. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Now I'm sitting in the truck and I'm thinking about this and I'm just getting more and more aggravated because I work in the service industry sort of in that same kind of thing, you know? And I know how easy it is just to help <clears throat> somebody and you know, you can, you can, you don't even have to go out of your way when you're at work to help somebody have a better day. You just don't have to do it. You just have to do your job and be nice about yeah. it. You know what or, I mean? Or just in life, just life in general. And then you get in the car and I hear you go, <sighs> I said, what happened? And you said, they didn't take my coupons. And I was like, what? And then you told me, and I was like, well, how much did it cost? And you said $101. And I was like, bull crap. It cost $101 for three pair of shoes for tiny little children. I was like, give me the receipt. I'm taking, I'm taking stuff back in because I know for a fact we, there's another place we could have gone where you, you buy a pair of shoes and get one half off, you know? And I'm so angry at Coles at this point that I'm like, I'm, I don't, I don't want them to have my money. <laughs> give it back. Just give it back. So I go drudging in through the rain 
I'm back went. to customer service. And guess who was there? <laughs> that old lady that didn't ring me up to start with, where it all started. And oh, I, I put man. it up there and she I was She should have like, just rang you up to begin have. with. She should have. Her name's probably Grace, too. That's what, She looked like a Grace. So I put the bags on the counter and I said, look, looks like you got to work with me after all. <gasps> Did you say oh, that yeah, to her? I did. Oh, she goes, my oh, was God. something wrong? I was like, yeah, I just decided I don't I don't I don't want Coles to have any of my money. I said, she can just, you know, just refund it, that'd be great. Oh my gosh. So I hand her the receipt. She starts refunding the People stuff. People probably think we're horrible right oh, now. Oh yeah, it's it, I don't care. I don't like I'm at the, I, I'm starting to cross that line. You know, like when you meet an old person and they just say whatever the hell they want. Like I feel like I am I'm edging over <laughs> that cliff, boy, to where it's gonna get real bad. You're having premature old man syndrome. <laughs> so. Bob got premature old man syndrome. It's P O M S. Like, you know, instead of P M S, it's P O M S. That's what you got. That's, that's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you need to stop. <laughs> um, oh, that was you. <coughs> yeah, so. God, my throat is so She dry. starts to ring me up, and then she goes, Do you have the debit card? And I went, why? I said, I have my debit card, but my wife paid for it with her debit card. It's the same bank account, but I'm sure the numbers are different. And she goes, yeah. <clears throat> well, you have to have the card you pay for it on. And I was like, are you kidding me? Even with the receipt? Yeah. And I was like. Like I get if you don't have the receipt, some source can look it up by your card. So I walk away. I left the stuff there. I'm going to go get this. I'm going to go get your debit card. By the time I get to the door, it is raining like somebody turned a faucet on. No, it, it was spring. It was only sprinkling the first time. The first time I went in. No, the first time you came back out. Okay, whatever. It's raining. So I walk through the rain. This is twice now. This is the second time I've walked through the rain. I get to the truck. I get inside, and I'm like, I need your I need your debit card. So you hand me the debit card, and then I go walking back through the rain again. Now, this is one, two, three. This is the fourth time, right? Am I, am I counting right? The fourth time I've walked through the rain. First time in, nope. Two. This is the third time. Third time I'm walking through the rain. Yeah. One in, one out, one back. So I walk through the rain. I get inside. I, I can't – I'm not able to use my glasses anymore because there's water on them. So I fold them up, put them in my pocket, and I go up to the counter, and I hand her the debit card. And she gives it back to me. She's like, oh, you have to stick it in this machine. So I stick it in the machine, and I'm waiting. And I'm waiting, and it doesn't do anything. And she goes, oh, something happened. It timed out. So I pulled it out. She does it again. I stick it back in there. We're waiting. We're waiting. And we're waiting. She goes, there must be something wrong with your bank. It's not making communication. And I said, <laughs> I said, uh, it, it made, worked just fine for yeah. me to pay you five I minutes was, ago. Yeah, it worked just fine a few minutes ago. What's the problem? <clears throat> she goes, well, I can't return it on this card. And I was like, well, what do we do? She goes, I'm just going to give you cash. And I lean in and I go, could you have given me cash five minutes ago before I walked through the rain to get this debit card? And she goes, yeah. I was like, why didn't you say that? Give me the oh my money. Gosh. Just give me the money. So she pops the register. And I, I know, like, I look like, like an asshole. <laughs> I'm sure. So she, um, she gives me the money, and then she starts telling me about the receipt. She's like, so you get Kohl's bucks or something like that? Kohl's, Kohl's cash. Kohl's cash. And you were going to get some for this transaction that you bought today, but it, this refund's going to negate it. And I go, okay, negate it. And then she she has this other sheet of paper, and she goes, and you used $5 Kohl's cash, which I guess you did that yes. when you paid for it. And um, and she's like, and this is that back, and hands me a sheet of paper. And I go, Really? And I just tore it up. And I was like, do you think I'm going to spend another That was my here? $5 in Kohl's cash. I was, I know. I was. Angry. Oh my God. So you I, trying to be dramatic lost me my $5. <laughs> so I rip it up and I throw it on the counter. And I was like, I'm pretty sure that I'm never going to spend money here again. So I don't need this. And then I turn around and I leave. Oh, that, and then. That is the point in which it was poor. Then I get to the door. Cats and dogs. And I look outside and I'm like, God, mother. Oh, and, I was, and then I, I think I opened the door quickly. So I, I, I know it looked bad because there, there was people that saw me in, in, out of context. I mean, don't get me wrong. It wasn't like I was in there throwing my arms around. Like it wasn't bad enough that somebody was going to pull out a camera and go, oh, let's put this on YouTube. Are it you wasn't, sure? Yes, I'm there sure. There could it wasn't, be a video on YouTube there, right now. Well, there's probably a video of me sucking my fingers in the highway. But <laughs> other than that, I don't think I've really done anything bad enough. Cheesy fingers. And then pl- my, most of the time my stuff is like a firecracker, you know? Like it's just like, pow. I don't give people the chance 
to like get a camera out. It's not like I yell at somebody for five minutes. I just, I say something mean and quick and then I walk away. That's just how I operate. Yeah. To hell with Coles. Find your laugh. Find your happy. This has been a Cabcast Studios production. For more episodes and information, visit cabcaststudios.com.